heard a really great definition from a friend of mine last week, um, and he said, sustainability is enough for all everywhere. Meeting the needs of the present without compromising the needs of the future. Making conscious choices about how we live, how we move forward as a society and as individuals. Typically, sustainability is seen as having three pillars, right? So social, economic and environmental sustainability. The United Nations has now added a fourth pillar of sustainability, which is culture. So respecting culture, society, economics, and environment. I think the intentions of the program have been to unpack, partly to unpack this notion of sustainability. Um, what does it mean for individuals? What does it mean for, for institutions? What we were hoping for, I think more than anything, was more meaning in our lives as teachers, that we would be addressing issues that would matter to students in the future, not just if they chose to follow our path of academia, but if they chose to just live a life. And so we decided that we needed to think about how can we change the university in order to graduate people who have an understanding of both their discipline, but also their discipline within the larger context. Fragmentation of knowledge, is not a way forward. I mean, many of the problems that we have right now have come about because of fragmentation of knowledge. When we started to bring students into the conversation early on, what we found was that students were interested in those problems, but they were more interested in solutions. To me, uh, the college has more than surpassed its goal. I would say the community that exists is incredibly unique because we do have so many students coming from different parts of the campus. They come together, they meet one another, and most of the time they wouldn't have an opportunity to do that. It's not a singular program, so students don't have to choose between sustainability and music or sustainability and biology. What we're doing here at the college is making sure that people can understand sustainability from their own viewpoint. I feel like when I started sustainability, I, I didn't actually really realize how different it was from environmental science and conservation. I'm not really an environmentalist. I'm more environmentally conscious because I actually have to think about what I'm doing and with relation to the rest of the world. This this idea that everything is really connected, I feel like I feel like it's something that's like in me now, but I kind of feel like I got it from the college. What we've learned is that you can teach in a way that responds to what the specific group of students that year has in mind. Issues that are in uh, the media or in people's minds or in politics can be brought into a class. You know, we're not just learning from the professors, but I feel like in some ways the professors actually learn from us just uh, understanding how we think about these issues. The program is always changing, but I think we have had some tremendous examples of, in of success and in integration. I love the program. In the first year, they really try and break you in and make it as general as possible. A lot of different science without it being science in the laboratory. It involves this uh, cross-pollination of ideas from different disciplines. It is very interdisciplinary. Um, and it's a lot of experiential learning. And then as they move into second and third year, the courses do become a little bit more specific. Taking what they've learned in these earlier courses and applying them to a real world problem. And we guide them through problem solving approaches. Finding out what's possible rather than doing something that's predefined. In the final years of the program, the students are really, you know, they're doing direct work with groups that are, or, or industry businesses that are outside of the university. In the past uh, semester, we actually had 10 projects delivered to HRM, Municipal Council, and uh, they're going to use them. I think that is sort of part of the nature of sustainability is a variable team, uh, a multifaceted approach to solving problems, and I think the more we get people who've got cross-professional expertise, uh, the better off we'll be, and I think we're seeing that. The college is helping push that agenda. Actually, why I loved the SS program is because I found it really solutions-based. The big draw, too, was just the hands-on nature of the sustainability program. This really just gets you a chance to see how things are done in the real world. And because you're working in smaller groups, you see a lot more work that you would normally see at the graduate level. So we're noticing that our students have taken some of the learnings and the community spirit from sustainability and implanted it in other parts of the University as well. Dalhousie has a long history of this. The College Action Center, the oldest NGO here in Nova Scotia, started as a Dalhousie Student Society. And universities really need to start embracing sustainability. We are definitely doing that at Dalhousie University, and um, I'm, I'm really proud of us. So I love that the Sustainability College is kind of pushing forward, but in a kind of business not as usual. So I wasn't as I said, I wasn't entirely sure what to think of it when I first got in. 
but I think that I'm a better person now that I came out of it. The more that these students get out there and the wider their reach is, the better our communities will be. It's going to change the way that we think as Canadians. I think the world should really watch out for uh, you know, some significant change coming.